Hey guys, so I can't even explain how long I've been waiting to make this video and I'm finally doing it. I have everything organized in front of me. I'm gonna answer them so you can see them better, but I literally swatched every single MAC lipstick that I own and I categorized them by finish and I think I have 60 something. Um, I counted it was 61 or 62. I also want to apologize in advance because this video is probably going to be very long. And yeah, I just want to apologize because I like to talk and I have like 60 lipsticks to talk about so it's gonna take a while. <laughs> Last summer was just the time where I wanted every MAC lipstick. Well, the thing was I wanted one from each collection where they had different packaging. So as you're going to see, I have a lot of ones with different packaging, a lot of ones that are really rare and hard to find. So I'm going to read them off for you by finish. And um, for any of them that have special packagings, I already took close-ups of each. So I'm going to just insert them in so you can see what the packaging looks like. And yeah, I'm also going to obviously insert pictures of these swatches so that you can see them. I thought it would be nice to see them on a white piece of paper, completely unbiased by skin tone or anything like that. You'll just see exactly what it looks like on a piece of paper. So yeah, I don't even really know like how to do this. I'm not even like a beauty like YouTuber, like I don't even know like how one does this. But we're just going to start. So first, I have my Amplified lipsticks so amplified it says it's highly pigmented and long wearing but unlike matte lipsticks they are smooth and do not dry your lips out so basically i think of amplified as a just more creamy and bold finish the first one i'm going to show you is viva glam gaga 2 this is when lady gaga did her collaboration with mac and it has lady gaga's signature on the side it is really really pretty it's just a nude the viva glam lipsticks looks like just any other mac lipstick but it has the red packaging and they also donate the proceeds to the mac aids fund which is really awesome next up we have viva glam miley cyrus which is a very very bright well it's not like a light bright it's just a very neon pink i guess you would say and also her signature is along the side next is from the pedro lorenco i'm probably butchering that name collection this one is called roxo and it is a really really deep red it's almost purple almost brown but it's still keeping that hint of red next is the mac rocky horror picture show collection this is called oblivion and it's just a blood red it's a very deep red next up is from the dame edna collection i hope i'm saying that right these are pretty hard to find this is coral polyp i know it's the name of a flower i think and i just cannot pronounce it it is just that a very pretty coral color this is one of my favorite packagings this is from the liberty of london collection this is called blooming lovely and when i say that this is one of my favorites i'm not exaggerating i just think it is so pretty it's such a different color you don't really find this color in lipsticks too often like i said i love the packaging too i just love this lipstick so much i would never give it away or sell it ever next is dark deed and i could not find the name of this collection anywhere online so i'm not sure which collection this was from but dark deed is once again just a really really dark purplish red on the swatch it looks more purple so now we can move on to amplified cream and i couldn't find like a definition on what is the difference between amplified and amplified cream i only have two of those though so this was from the wash and dry collection i think this was like last year and i think this is really really unique packaging this one is called morange or morange i'm not really sure how it's supposed to be pronounced but it is a bright orange and i have a few orange lipsticks from mac that you'll see i'm obsessed with neon orange it's my favorite color in the entire world so of course i had to get a bunch of very very bright orange lipsticks next up is another one of my absolute favorite lipsticks this is called tribalist and it was from the style warrior collection i love the packaging on this one and oh my gosh is that not a beautiful beautiful color i've actually worn this in a few videos last summer i just love this lipstick so much it is really intense next up is dazzle i've been told that dazzle lipsticks are very very rare to find they i'm trying to look at the swatch it's just very shiny and the, when the light hits it there's just a lot of sparkles going on this was from the temperature rising collection and this one is called sheer seduction so as you can see it is just crazy crazy shiny and it's just 
this really pretty like bronzish goldish color next is retro matte and i only have one retro matte shade and it is re re ru Ri Ri Wu, and it was from the Ri Ri Hearts Mac Holiday Collection, I believe. What I love about this one so much is that it has her signature in the actual lipstick. And Retro Matte is basically just a really, really matte matte. So next we can move on to Cream Sheen, which I only have two of. The Cream Sheen lipsticks are extremely creamy and glossy. They aren't as pigmented as the other lipsticks, but are by no means sheer. Because of the creaminess, they are quite hydrating, but not that long wearing. Normally, I prefer matte lipsticks, as you'll see, because the last type of lipstick I'm going to be showing you are all of my matte ones, and I have so many. By far, the most matte lipsticks. I love them so much. So I don't really usually like the creamy feel, but I still have two of these. I love this one. This one is called Innocence Beware, and it is from the Venomous Villains collection, and they basically had a bunch of like Disney villains. So this one has Cruella de Vil, and oh my gosh, I just, I love it so much, and the fact that Cruella de Vil is on this just makes it for me. Next up is Mystical, and it is from the Alluring Aquatics collection. I love this packaging because all the little bubbles on here are like 3D. Like, I'm running my finger along it and I literally feel the bubbles. I think that's so cool and this color is gorgeous. It's like brown but it also has some purple-ish-ness to it and oh my god I'm obsessed with it. It is so so pretty. Next up we are going to be talking about glaze. The glaze lipsticks are the most sheer of all the lipsticks. These are subtle and easy to use because of the lack of opacity and the glossy finish. So I only have three but the first one is from the Glitter and Ice collection. This one is called Whirls and Twirls. And I really like this packaging, how they made it silver and white. I just thought it was very classy. This one is a very pretty pink that reminds me almost of the Dazzle lipstick in the sense that when the light hits it a certain way, it shimmers and it's super pretty. Next is Lollipop Loving from the Heatherette collection. Heatherette lipsticks are so hard to find and people trying to sell them and buy them are doing it for so much money so luckily i did not have to like actually buy this but this is lollipop loving like i already said it is so unique it's a really pretty pink but i almost see hues of like green and yellow in here when the light hits it it's really really nice next is from the to the beach collection this one is called beach bound and it's a really pretty light orange and as you can see from all of these swatches that they are not that opaque at all and i think they look really really pretty on the lips next up are frost and this lipstick offers medium wearing time medium coverage and medium gloss what makes them stand out is that they are all shimmery and like the name suggests they provide a frost like finish so i have quite a few of these so the first one i'm going to show you is from the divine night collection and this one is called you got it it's just their normal packaging except there's some gold added i don't even know how to describe this color honestly it's like almost white but it's almost gold but it's almost pink I don't know. I'm the worst at describing things. You guys know this already. Next up is Angel, and this one is not from a collection at all. But I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to get a new one because I love this color. I don't know what happened. Um, they just kind of exploded in on itself. And I kind of got a swatch of it. I tried. I really, really tried. Next up is another Rihanna one. This one is called Who's That Chick? And this is from the Riri Hearts Mac Fall Collection, I believe. And this one also has her signature in it, and it's a really pretty orange. Next up is from the Barbie Hearts Mac Collection, and this one is called Modern Miss. This one has a lot more use, but it's just more of a, I'd say like a dark, rosy color with like plum tints to it, and yeah i don't know these are like really hard to describe next up is called howdy and i could not find the collection name for this online so i apologize but it has some very unique packaging and the color itself is very brown next is one that i did not originally think that i was really going to like but i love this one is called plum dandy it's just one of their normal lipsticks that you can get anytime i'm pretty sure it's a really really dusty pretty purple and when you wear this on the lips just by itself it just gives you like a little hint of purple with some glossy finish it's so pretty next up is another one that i wasn't sure if i was going to like but this one i'm obsessed with i mean it's not something you can wear every day it's kind of like a special occasion type lipstick because it's so different this is viva glam rihanna 2 i love this packaging it's very matte it feels really nice in your hand but look at that color it's silver and on the skin especially on me it looks super super dark and it adds a huge contrast and I should wear this in a video sometime soon because I love this. I always forget how much I love it until I see it and then I'm like, next up is Luster. It says this finish is basically exactly the same as 
the glaze finish although we find that the luster lipsticks I can't talk luster lipsticks come in much more colors and are ever so slightly more opaque one of my all-time favorites this is called free as a butterfly and this is from the Cinderella collection and first of all I love the fact that they did a Cinderella collection like I love that so much but this color is gorgeous I remember wearing this in New York City and in Boston I went on a family trip so I just wore it all the time and it's so pretty it just gives your lips a nice little bit of gloss and it really doesn't look like you're wearing much it gives them a little bit of a lighter tint next this one is called girl next door it's from the Archie's girls collection this one has Betty on the tube and it is a really really bright pink this reminds me of a couple of colors that we're gonna be seeing later on it's so bright and it kind of looks strange on me, but this color looks amazing on so many people. Next up is another lipstick that is extremely hard to find. This one is Bunny Pink from the Playboy collection. So it's basically just MAC's usual packaging, but there are Playboy bunnies all along it. And this one is called Bunny Pink, like I said. There is a Playboy bunny actually embedded into the lipstick itself. And the tube on the inside is like a rose gold color, but more pink than rose gold. And it's just such a pretty lipstick. Next one up is from the Hello Kitty collection and this one is called Cute Stir and this one, ooh, there's like a hair in here. Gross. <laughs> but this one has um, Hello Kitty actually embedded into the lipstick itself and it is a really, really pretty pink color. We're coming up on another one of my favorites. So this is from the D Squared collection. This one is called Nude Rose and something about this color I'm just absolutely obsessed with. This one just looks really good on me. That must be why I really like it. It's just a very, very subtle color and nude rose is the perfect way to explain it. Next is from the MAC Fafi, 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 I don't know, collection and this one is called Straw Baby and I love that name because the color itself reminds me of a strawberry. And my last luster one is from the Neo Sci-Fi collection. This one is called Astral. Before I even open it, let's just talk about the packaging. Did I not just say that my favorite color in the world is neon orange? Neon orange. Neon mother effing orange. This color I actually really like. It's just another brown with a hint of like bronze. But the thing is, this actually looks pretty good on me. You would think it would look crazy on me, but since it's luster and it's pretty glossy and not so opaque, I'm just obsessed with this color and the packaging. I mean, even if I hated the color, I would keep this forever and ever just because the tube is the prettiest color. Let's move on to satin. So satin lipsticks were actually the first lipsticks I was ever introduced to by MAC. I think my first ever MAC lipstick was myth which you'll see in just a minute but satin lipsticks are long wearing and offer high opacity without being as dry as their matte counterpart it's as though the matte finish was introduced to some conditioner and they made sweet love that's literally what the website says like i promise i didn't come up with that then it says some of the best and most exciting colors come in the satin finish i have quite a few of these we are going to start with viva glam 2 so this is another one of their viva glam lipsticks but this is available all the time i'm pretty sure this is one of my first ones that i ever got next up is another one of their permanent lipsticks this one is called spirit and it's pretty similar to the one i just showed you but it is a little darker next up is faux and faux is very similar to spirit but it is just a little bit more rosy if you will next up is from their surf baby collection this one is called mocha and i just love the packaging on this one i just think it's so cute but mocha is more warm toned than any of the ones i just showed you but still a really pretty nude color this is myth the one that i told you guys was one of the first lipsticks i ever bought from mac i will love this one forever and ever i actually had to get a new one because i lost my first one so sad i lost my first ever mac lipstick but I have this one. It's a very, very light nude color. Um, I find that it sometimes will look as if it's washing me out, so sometimes I'll mix it with a different lipstick. Next up is Snob. This is another one of the first ones that I ever got. This is a pretty pink. This reminds me of the Archie's Girls one I was talking about, but it's not nearly as bright. I love how girly this one is. It's really cute. Next up is Viva Glam Nikki. This is from Nicki Minaj's partnership with MAC, and this also was for charity, which I think is awesome. Her signature is on the tube, and just look at that color. It is so 
insanely bright. Like I couldn't wear this without looking like a crazy person, but I do have a lot of the Viva Glam ones just because it goes towards a good cause. Even if I'm not the biggest fan of the color, I wouldn't wear it too often. If I love the celebrity and I love the cause, I'm gonna buy it anyway, so. Next is from the Marilyn Monroe collection. This one is called Love Goddess. Just like any other white girl these days, I love Marilyn Monroe. And so I was so excited when I saw all of the lipsticks that came out in her collection. Love Goddess doesn't seem that pink in um, just the lighting right now, but I'm telling you, it is so pink. You'll see in the swatches that it is a very pretty deep pink. And my last satin lipstick is called Sale La Vie. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's from their Hey Sailor collection, and I love this packaging with the stripes. And it is a really, really bright reddish orange. It's more red than it is orange, but it is so pretty. So now we are on to our last type of lipstick, and this is my all time favorite. These ones are matte. A lot of people don't like them because they feel that they dry their lips out, but I don't really find that problem. I use Max Prep and Prime lip primer, and I never really have that problem. But that's just me personally. It says the matte finish while one of the trickiest to work with definitely definitely delivers the best color payoff and is the most long long <clears throat> the matte finish while one of the trickiest to work with definitely delivers the best color payoff and is the most long wearing of all of the different finishes the downside however is that it will show off every dry crease in your lips so unless your lips are in smoke and hot condition stay far away oh and also most of my mattes are from the permanent collection so if i don't say it's from this or that collection just know that it's a permanent one and you'll be able to tell by the packaging first we're going to start off with styled and sepia and this one is almost gray but it is a gorgeous brown color next up is whirl this was supposed to be like i was about to say miley cyrus but kylie jenner's like you know, lipstick that apparently she wears all the time or used to wear before she came out with her own stuff. Next up is Taupe, which is very similar to Whirl, but it's a little lighter and less intense. Next up is from Max Isabel and Ruben Toledo collection. This is called Oxblood, and it's funny because I hated this color. Okay, first let's talk about the packaging. I think the packaging is really cute, but the thing is, as you can see, mine just gets stuff all over it from being in my makeup bag. So the one thing that I don't like about this packaging is something of the material. This is a more of a matte material and just stuff gets all over it. So it doesn't look that pretty. As far as the color goes, it's still very nude, but it has more of an orange undertone, at least on me it does. And the thing is, I used to hate this. I used to think this looked so bad on me. I thought it looked too orange and I just thought it looked disgusting on me. But recently I've actually found that I really, really like this. So next is called Please Me. And I'm pretty sure this is from Max 2015 holiday collection. I forgot the name of the collection, but I love this packaging. And the color itself is kind of like a nude rose. Emphasis on the rose though. And I think it's really pretty. Next up is from the, uh, I can't say this name. I did a video on these colors last summer because this collection came out last summer and I'm not sure how to say this name. Gambatista Valley. I don't know if I said that right. I probably really didn't. This is called Bianca B. It is such a bright, pink this is like so close to white it is like literally almost white and i think if you pull it off and you look good wearing it then you really really pull it off next is aviva glam one this is just another really deep red i have so many deep reds but i love them so much next up is from their heirloom mix collection i'm pretty sure this was the holiday collection from some year i don't remember but this one is called sparks of romance i love the fact that the packaging has almost like glitter all around it and it reminds me of the night sky i just think it looks really cool but the thing about this lipstick is there are tiny specks of gold in this lipstick like not real gold but like gold color i don't know if you can really tell but oh my gosh i'm obsessed it is so unique and it's so pretty on it's not too like overwhelming like you can't see the glitter like you know it's not like coming at your face like jumping out of the person's mouth into your eyes like it's not that intense but it's so cool next up is from the mac wonder woman collection these are also very hard to find this one is called russian red which you actually can get i'm pretty sure they sell russian red all of the time but this is from their collection this one has a lot of wear because i got it from a family member who obviously used it a lot this is just a really really classic red next up is lady danger this one broke but this is another one of my very first mac lipsticks i got this around the same time as i got myth and this one's broken a few times so i can't bring it out all the way but it's a really really bright red it's almost orange and i actually find that i don't really like the way this looks on me as much as i used to well, speaking of oranges um this is also from the 
Gambatista Bali collection. This is a really, really pretty orange. It's almost pastel, the fact that it's a little lighter. This is from the Bao Bao, I think, Wan collection, and this one is called Forbidden Sunrise. This is such an insanely neon orange. I think this is like my favorite color in the whole world in a lipstick. Next up is Matte Royal, which is one I could never actually see myself wearing unless it was for a specific reason it's literally just that it's royal blue it's a very unconventional lipstick color next up is from the kelly osborne collection this one is called dodgy girl and it is a very pretty bright purple once again not one i could ever see myself wearing in like all seriousness but i just love it and i love how similar it is to its packaging color next up we have another purple this one is called heroin such a pretty true purple and purple is one of my favorite colors so i just love the color of this lipstick fun fact i actually got this in new zealand in auckland new zealand um i was flying to australia last summer and we had a layover at the auckland airport and there was a matte counter and i bought this so this came from New Zealand. I think that's like a pretty cool fact. I don't know. You guys probably don't give a shit. <laughs> Next up, this is from the Julia Petite collection. And this one is called Akai. And this one is so pretty. It's a deep berry purple. Next up is Smoked Purple. Yet another purple. And this is just a really, really dark purple. It's almost black. And it's almost gray-ish but it's just a really deep smoked purple is the perfect way to say it next up is viva glam ariana grande did a whole video on this it's just a really really deep once again almost black this one is insanely deep purple also has ariana grande's signature last one that i kept from the gambatista Bali collection this one is called eugenie and once again very very deep purple this one is more on the brown side next up is sin this is yet again a really really dark one but this is more on the red side and i love this one i've heard it being called a brick red but i think it's like way too dark but it's a really really pretty red this is also one that i got when i was first getting into mac lipsticks and i've always always loved this one next up is stone this one is actually pretty similar to the very first one i showed you styled in sepia but this one is more gray and the other one was more brown so as you can see this is very stony it still has a little bit of brown to it but it's much more gray and the very last one that i I'm going to show you guys is another one that I really couldn't see myself wearing but I just like to have it it's a very unique one to have this one is called Houtcore. it is just straight up black <laughs> I just counted 62 MAC lipsticks I have an issue but yeah thank you so much for watching my humongous lipstick collection video I'm sorry if this is really long I'm sure it's gonna be really long but yeah I'm so happy that I finally have been able to film this I've been wanting to film this since last August finally got around to doing it thank you guys so much for watching I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video bye